uh, in today's video i want to teach you on how to get uh, an app id an app id uh, is a unique number that uh, identifies your uh, identifies your it's a unique number that identifies your application on the real site on the real so if you want to create an application for example third party uh, site or if you want to create uh, a python bot and you want it to be authenticated or want it to connect with the real site so that you can use that third party or python bot to trade you must also have an app id how do you get an app id so you will put this into your browser api.derive.com and they will bring you search they bring you an interface which looks like this then you will drop down until where you see until where you see register your app tap on register your app when registering your app this is it they bring a dashboard which looks like this you again drop down now for example i've already created one here i've already created an, uh, an app here so uh, i've already created one but I can also create another. So you will go here to register new application. Register new application. Then we ask you the application's name. I will just put demo. When I'm putting demo, of course, you have to read and understand everything here. And then you have to by your terms and conditions. Say register now. Then they will ask you to configure to create a, uh, to create an API token to use with your application. Of course, if you have already created an API token. Of course, you will need it here. Like I've taught you how to create an API token before. Then adding authentication in your application. Then selecting scopes and authentication. All this. So you just say configure now. You put all that. So how do you configure? Now, when you... Of course, this is the name of the application. Then on the Xbox here, they will want you to put a percentage. Uh, most of these, uh, these third-party applications are used to are used by people to get commission so here that's where i put the percentage of the commission you want to be getting from per trade from a trading person you'll be taking using your third party application so i can say on each trade the person takes using my third part application i want to be getting 0 .05, 0 0.5 percent of their profit let me hope you get that or someone can say want to be getting one percent of their profit that means if someone makes a profit of 10 percent on a trade using my third application, they will get one dollar and give it to me as commission. This is where that thing is applied. So most of the third party applications have this, this, this component here. When you use their third party application, they automatically get a commission from your money you've been using to trade. Unless, unlike for the review's official uh, site, when you're using the review's official site, you don't get any commission from you. But these people, they will, if, if you're supposed to get $10 from a trade, we only get nine dollars they will get that percentage from your your person this is where they set it from so depending on someone and they will set the commission they want to be getting someone may be wanting one percent some people would want two percent depending on what they want then when you drop down uh we have where you can put a, a redirect URA. this redirect URA is simply like uh it's simply like uh yeah, it's simply, um, how should I call it? It's like a, a link that your application is going to be running in. The most cases, people people are developing applications. They use local, local host. Yeah, it is like a link. When you when you run your link, where will it run it from? Where will it be running from? To, so it will be running from a local, a local host. People who have more customized URLs also put them here. Now, there are also these ones which are optional. If you have any of those optional URLs, you can put them here. These are the people who have applications and need to first authenticate you for you to use them. So they put their URL or email here. So uh, also, when you are authenticating, when you are creating your app ID, you must also authenticate it to read. You can also authenticate it to trade. You can also authenticate it to read for your trading information, to do payments for you, and also have full access. And you see, before even you give it full access, they would first ask you, are you sure? Are you sure about what you are doing? So I will say, because I want to give it full access and I also want to give it payments to just be able to trade for me and even do that. 
can also prevent it from reading trading information. I can even prevent it from trading. And I just create something that just does what to read. But for you to create a third party application, it must be at least able to read, trade, and also read trading information. For payments and other meaning, that's upon a bag. It's, it depends on you what you want to do. So you say update application. When updating application, they will have brought it. You see, it is here. Demo, that's the app ID. Now this is the app ID. If you fill it into your, your source code or you fill it into your application, and then it will be displayed on this local, local host whenever you run your application. Maybe in a browser, this is the local host where it will be displayed. So you copy it and put it in your app ID or in your source code or in whatever application you are developing. In most cases, those are Python, Python bots. So this is how you can do it. You can create your app ID. This is a disclaimer. Please, you should keep these app IDs very secret. You should keep your app for your API token very secret because there are very many fraud stars who use these to get money from people's accounts. And I think I've been uh, I've been a victim of this. So keep them safe. Whenever you're creating, don't expose them. I'm exposing them because after here, I'm going to delete everything and I do something new. I've, actually, I'm not even using this. This was for trial. This was trial. I'm going to delete them and then recreate my new app IDs. So thank you very much. Uh, I wish you well.